In this video, we'll work through an example of an equation with rational expressions. We have 3 plus x over 6x equals 1 over 2x plus 4 over 3. Now, rational expressions are just big fractions, so what we'd like to do to clear the fractions is multiply through by the lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator in this case is 6x. That is, we look at all of these denominators and we look at what could we build these denominators up to. Well, we can build them up to 6x. So if we multiply everything through by this lowest common denominator, and I'll show it like this. One of my students did this years ago, and I, I really like this notation, showing that we're multiplying everything by this 6x. Now, I'm going to break this down step by step just for teaching purposes. I'm going to say 6x over 1. You can make anything into a fraction by just putting it over 1. Multiplied by 3 plus x over 6x equals 6x over 1 times 1 over 2x plus 6 over x, uh, 6x over 1, multiplied by 4 over 3. So everything, every single term gets multiplied by this 6x. Now the reason we do that is because so every single uh, denominator is going to cancel out. So I'll show that real quickly. The 6x is cancel out completely. So we're just left with 3 plus x and then equals. Now over here we've got something else. We're canceling the x's and the 2 goes to 1 and the 6 goes to 3. So I have 3 times 1. So just 3 from this part. Now what's left over here? Uh, the 6 and the 3 can cancel. We can cancel a 3 out of there. And uh, 3 out of 6 goes to 2. So we have 2 times x times 4. So we have 8x plus 8x. That's from this part. Okay, now we've got a nice easy equation. Let's walk through uh, solving this. Solving an equation, you get the variable terms to one side, the constant terms to the other. So I'm going to kind of do that in one step just to save you a little time. I'm going to subtract x here, and I'm also going to subtract 3 from each side so that our constant terms will get rid of away from this side. I'm doing it because of this side. It just happens to be the same over here. Now, what we're going to be left with on the on the left hand side is zero and that's okay. Zero is a number. Don't don't get uh, in hysterics if if you have a zero there. We just have zero. That's fine. On the right hand side we have 8x minus x is just 7x. Well, it turns out that we have a solution of zero. If we divide by 7 and we get x equals zero. But wait a minute, we thought that was a nice solution, but gosh darn it. Look at this. We can't plug x in, a zero in for x there. So uh, because it would make that it would make that denominator zero and it would therefore make this fraction undefined. So we have to cross this out. So after all that, now oftentimes you will just find a solution, but, but this is a nice example to just take it through to one of these other examples where you, f you find a solution and you have to uh, cancel it out, or, or some of the bigger problems you have two solutions and you have to cancel out one of them. But this is just no solution. So we, we went through the process and then in the end it happened to be in this example that we had no solution.